hello hello my lovelies Sigita here and today we are making little bit something <laughs> I'm not just showing you what I made on of course that's envelope envelope love 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 how this turned out and especially because of paper right I purchased parchment paper white and because I didn't purchase from actual shop right i purchased from online shop i couldn't really touch and i couldn't really see see how that paper look so uh when i received them i was like okay i wanted them a little bit more transparent and i'm like I'm okay kind of a little bit disappointed but then when i coffee dyed it i absolutely love it look at that crunchy and straight away i thought you know i will make envelope this envelope goes into journal into this lovely journal a small one i still have to add more pages and i still have to put in some uh for writing and i made as well cover for it already it's going to be wrap around as i do little bit I put some paint on uh, and most important guys something completely new I have a transparent rose petal laminated tag and laminated rose petal page love 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 absolutely so there, these are making and showing on Pietro. A moth journal is coming. This is actual first moth journal. This is coming. I'm making on Pietro. But this one was second moth. So I saw, because it's printed on fabric, I said, okay, I will put this one on here. Uh, so this journal is coming uh, with laminated items. More laminated items are going to be in that moth journal. But yeah, this is something new. I have never done it and i absolutely love it my roses from my garden right they are yeah this is like um say hello from my garden to you <laughs> all right so yeah so this journal is coming very soon if you are interested you can reserve it okay guys who are saying i can never get anything this is a time <laughs> okay you can uh you can say no afterwards if you don't like it right anyway so envelope nice and easy no really measurements just folding so i'm using this lovely crunchy parchment paper i never used them before this is first time this is <laughs> this is why i'm so excited Right, first I'm I'm folding, I am folding the tray, I'm folding, I'm for measuring width. So how wide we want our envelope. And actually I will take my dirty mat to more or less to go straight. That's the only thing. Right, I'm taking a ruler and I just tear it off. Okay, like that. So, we're turning this way. Why is this wider? Okay, as always, there is something shorter, wider, not correct. Okay, anyway, right, that's bottom probably we won't need. So what happened now? So this is width. This is how our envelope is going to be. I am folding a little bit here, a little notch, because I want to fold little triangles to make our envelope Closure, kind of. Is it closure? Is it straight? It doesn't feel straight to me. 
I don't I ca I don't do straight guys. You 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 know that. Right, and then I wanted to fold it. Right, I just want to put straight because now I am making folding line a little bit under like that. Right, so what we did, look, we made this part, this folding little, little right, edge. Now, we want to it's not strong. I guess I have to cut it straight. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So very straight, you know. It was too long that way, somewhere in this way. Right. So how do I? Okay. Where is knife now? Cutting knife! Right. Do I feel better? Do I feel better now? Right, okay. Yeah. Kind of. It is straight. Okay, so now we have our flip. Right up. Now we are folding this one upwards, and this is too long. Uh, I'm not going to do envelope like this, right? So what I want to do, I'm bending kind of backwards first to see. Okay, this one, this this way. I want it this wide. Right, this wide, this wide. And now I can easily bend it in the right way. Back to the same score, that was like scoring line. Right. to make this part, actual envelope part. So where are we? We are like this. So now we have our width, right, actual envelope width, this one. But now we still need this little flap, right? So what I do again, I bend backwards, flap is like this. So you can now See how um, how much you want to leave on the top. I'm I'm not suggesting really to go higher up because it'll be hard to put something in. So I am pushing down like this. Right. And again, I'm folding backwards. And the same scoring one. This is confusing, right? <laughs> so this, and then we fold. Uh, is this too long? So I am not tearing off straight in a line. I will go a little bit higher up. Why? 
to create little folding line in and then we bend down and then we bend down and we have envelope which is not straight <laughs> It's always like one millimeter kind of missing. This is always for me. This is, all. yeah, now it's, it's better. So, okay. And I came out with five and a half by three, and I think three eighths, right? This is the same, kind of a little bit shorter. So what's happening now? I don't want to glue. Only thing I'm gluing is these flaps. Uh, can I use for, for this parchment paper? Um, glue stick, yes, I can. Because uh, that surface is not oily at all. And before I actually started to fold that envelope, I uh, put glue, uh, glue stick glue, on um, coffee stained parchment paper and white. Just to make sure, you know, I left it overnight, just to make sure that it's sticking. And you know, guys, it is really sticking. So, if you're not sure, better, you know, check. But I know mine, mine is sticking. So, I'm quite happy about that. Right. I'm still thinking about that straight. Yeah. Easy. Right. So what I'm doing now is I'm going over sewing machine and I will stitch here. This one. Not this little notch. You can, but I'm not. I'm starting from corner here. I'm stitching here and stitching there. Right. And I'm just cutting a little bit off these threads. I'm leaving a little bit of thread hanging. Okay, so I, I stitch the Look, it takes a second. Oh. Right, so. Right, so, stitching here, stitching here. All right, nice, just to clip, keep nice and clean and fold it. Uh, then, I actually want to stitch over here as well. So next stitch, I didn't do here, I just forgot. Actually, I think that would be nice. So I'm stitching over here as well. Right. Bit off. Nice. So we are having stitched here, stitched there. I like it already better. Now I want to stitch that bottom part close to make actual envelope. Right, so just from this corner, you can start here, nothing will happen, right, but I will just start from corner. Okay, so why I, you know, don't stitch all over at once, because I like these threads to be hanging down, <laughs> this is why. I'm not, I didn't stitch down there right but next the last stitch for better closing for better creeping close i will do little stitch right on the edge over here right on a flap just little one very narrow, narrow one right like this nice so we have a little thread hanging and basically our envelope is ready nice and crunchy Right. Okay. Right. Now you can leave like this. That's fine too. But of course, I want to put something on. I will do similar decoration to this one because they are going to in the same journal. Right. So. What we can put on? What we can put on? Some bits and pieces from our table. Another. 
Red is growing a tree one. I did put this flower on. This is from my flower collections already. From my doodles. They are available like this. Cut out already. On uh, my see And oh this one. This didn't cut properly. But flowers like this as well. So you can just take and place it on. Maybe even I can do this one. But only. That's too long. And let's do all that, these leaves a little bit shorter. Actually, that envelope will be opening this way. I think I will embellish this way. Like that. Of course, everything, whoopsie, everything is inked. <laughs> it doesn't want to be inked at all. Right, little inking. No white bits. Inking over as well. Here, that parchment paper, as you can see, Takes ink quite well, which is nice. Just you know, little bit. And as always, I'm using um, I'm using vintage, vintage. Um. Ink, vintage ink pad. I forgot that name. <laughs> I, I, I I cannot remember. Is vintage vintage photo? That's a word. <coughs> oh dear. Right. Vintage photo. So let's close that little rose. Huh? Okay. So I'm going this way, right? Because these are going to be uh, some pages. Like this. Right. And as well, I want something on on top of that. Uh -huh. This is gorgeous. This is so bright. That's fine. Who said you cannot do grunge with bright? That thread I'm stitching now uh, is like orange-ish red. Uh, yeah, I thought, you know, I have to use it. Otherwise, I'm just black and black and black thread all the time. I thought I would change it for more colorful. So now I'm going to use this for a while. I'm just too, too lazy to change that thread. But I like it. So, okay. Uh, still, I want to do some stamping. Some stamping. Stamps are these. Like tickets and postcard and stuff like that. This is from AliExpress, guys. I just right. I have I want that number. There is some numbers. I want oh, I want these numbers. Oh, let me wording here. 
so flap quite fine i'm quite happy so here are, are we going to embellish yeah let's do quickly nice something nice one right we got i chose here um like leftover from cutout or is it negative from a tag but Like I have quite a few from my little mini envelopes. So I like this from little doilies. You can see. Absolutely love these. They are giving such an interesting uh, look. You, you will never cut out like that by hand. By hand. So what I want to do. First let's find a picture which i don't have so oh my god i'm trying to reach over oh these are going to be too big have oh, quite a large pictures but i thought i thought i can do <laughs> divide them right meaning that I like the black round. Right. Where is my aha? Uh -huh. This one's here. So now what would be the interesting part? Interesting part would be like that actually. So that's too long. And this as well, a little bit too wide. In that case, oh, yes, and this is what I like it. Right, so what we do, we ink it. And we glue it down. Oh, looks like I have printed back as well. Well, that's a little bit yeah. I really love to use these uh, leftovers. Beautiful, beautiful, interesting um, collages you can do. We are inking as well. This cut out. And I'm placing this way. Maybe even higher. That's it, like that. Just add that little piece here. I will place as well on the edge. As you can see, I'm, I'm just grabbing what right next to me. I'm not really thinking. what's in my boxes <laughs> right. and you are folding nicely over okay just 
make sure everything is down. Right, right. Then we can put the same number and we turn it over. Just part of it. Let's see. And what else did I put some more stamps? No, I don't want it. You know what I want on this one? I'm going to glow scribble. I love it. You know, but you really have to um try to do exercise with scribbling. Because uh, I couldn't do scribbling the way I wanted them to turn out. I can, we can all do scribbling. But the way uh, they turned out, uh, I didn't like it for some time. But just recently, I was like, yeah, I am starting to like. If you haven't seen scribbles, these faces, like these, abstract intuitive faces love that one completely intuitive uh not i don't like all of them but most of them uh a previous video i have on youtube it's following uh, amy bishop because she was doing a little uh, uh tutorial so these faces as well i will put in a journal this, this little one big one maybe as well right am i fine am i fine am i really what's this little I don't know what they are. What they do? <laughs> I don't know what they are. <laughs> they do look nice. Yeah, you know, look at that gorgeous envelope, right? On the back. What do I have on the back? On the back here, I'm having. <gasps> this is holding. This is not holding. So, what could we do on the back? You know what? I will take this girl I cut off. Right. Let's at least let's put her on the same envelope. Everything is coming. Okay. Right. Of course, if you want to mo learn more about grunge, is on my Patreon. Tons and tons of videos tutorials you can download my uh digitals i used to do i'm not doing digitals anymore but all oh, what's available there are some um little uh, lessons courses as well tutorials uh yeah so all of that these are my patrons you know a lot of videos over i think two years and especially uh, all access all access you have to go through so many videos and now i maybe can take orange and orange maybe i can sit her with that flower so that's too long let's take short like this place a little bit on her too and as well i am uh, actually making journals and collages and embellishing pages a little bit using uh rules 
And that rules I have as well video on Pietro when I explain how this and that I'm doing. Yeah, I'm, it's like, you know, I have rules and then I try to break that rule. But anyway, so what else? Some little stamping. Okay, let's not do stamping this time. I have this gorgeous stencil that's a happy mail one of my favorite stencils i have my own stencil as well no i'm not using this time my own i want this one if it's not straight you know it doesn't really matter but i will try Okay, I want to go a little bit over her. It's kind of you know what I'm doing. I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing from opposite side. Should that's why I thought why is um gluey <laughs> clever bean doesn't matter we still get see i like this but still i want quickly that little the same stamp but maybe or no maybe let's do a like this number upside down of course upside down can i okay let's go this way upside down and not upside down that's fine <laughs> and number 10 oh, beautiful beautiful so my lovelies i think this is quite cool right envelope this look how nice it does look Yes. See, straight away it takes a right look. So, my lovelies, envelope is done. If you uh, want little bits and pieces, mini envelopes, doodles, all that is on my Etsy available. You can purchase. Uh, some more items will be is, is coming because I want some more. But now I'm working on these two journals. So as well, once did I actually say that if this if this uh, journal this wrap around with these pages i will be adding some writing pages as well so if you are interested this is a time to reserve it okay now <laughs> right now because especially for those for these who are saying you never can get anything this is a time you can or, or reserve it it doesn't mean you have to purchase it maybe you don't like it how at the end it look or maybe it's too expensive which is absolutely fine you can easily say no sorry not this time and then i will just put straight on Etsy for public sale that's about it you know there's no worries i'm not losing anything you don't lose anything right so i love i love this dog only the other thing what i think i will do i will stitch around i will stitch i like everything stitched around not by hand by sewing machine i will do that stitching because i have seen so many times on um pinterest bookmarks and i was like okay bookmark bookmarks and bookmarks and then i was like okay bookmarks and then somehow catched my eyes at bookmark right and then i thought i can do something maybe else maybe page and then my thought just you know extended and i was like okay i can maybe do try this and try that and i looked as uh, these laminator machines are not expensive I was like okay yes i can i can purchase it 
And here we go. I love it. Absolutely love it. New addition, you know. You know, guys, I have been trying to do some transparent pages with um, uh, rose petals or dried flowers inside quite a few. Um, really, none of these pages I was doing with Mod Podge and whatever glues and with napkins and stuff. I didn't really like. They were fine. But I never thought that laminated, I really liked it. Very simple, very easy. You can do a lot, a lot of stuff, which I will try, which I will try to do. So, my lovelies, please enjoy the video. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever. I know I haven't been on for a while. And I am on right, like, once a month, I will try to come more. Okay, I, I'm not promising. <laughs> I'm not promising. I, I will try. Okay. Anyway, meanwhile, meanwhile, you can join. You can join Pietron, right, my lovelies. Anyways, join us. Are coming. Have a great week and see you very soon. I have two little videos in my mind for YouTube. Right, my lovelies. See you soon. Bye.